All right, Darren, show us what you got. Go for number two. Go, Darren, go, Darren, That's go, Darren. That's awesome, Darren. 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 Great string of rules. Go, go, go. No. Darren. Oh. 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 What happened? It's tricky, isn't it? It's, it's, uh, I'm just learning the level. You're going to ninja up this wall? Follow uh, the blue You can blue do it. Oh. Cloud Builder is a third-person action platformer set in a surreal sky world. Using wall runs, double jumps and a boost move, you have to navigate through some very tricky levels to try and reach the safety of the exit. And to make your life harder, there's all sorts of traps, turrets and robots to get in your way. But you do also have a pistol to help you blast through such hazards. Pew pew! Pew pew! pew, pew. You play as Demi. Well, actually, you play as her subconscious. Mental integration of neural repairs is beginning. She's been injured and is now lying in a hospital bed. In between levels, she tells you a little more about what happened and the struggle she's going through. We were torn to pieces by an explosion that should never have happened. It sets a surprisingly sombre tone for a game which seems so bright and energetic. Yeah, it's quite a beautiful and humbling message that they're trying to get across with this, isn't it? Mm, indeed. You really feel like the freedom of movement she has in her dreams is her mind's natural response to her condition. And I'm sure anyone who's found themselves in a similar situation could relate to that. So, while I like what they were going for here, I have to say I wasn't a huge fan of the gameplay. I just found it more frustrating than fun. And don't get me wrong, I love a good challenge. I just I didn't click with this. Yeah, I have to say, though, it is exciting when everything just works and you get a really good run going. But yes, all too often the controls and camera just let you down. So many times I fell to my doom because, for whatever reason, the wall climb move just wouldn't work. A poor workman blames his tools. Well, maybe we were doing something wrong, Darren, but I swear that wall climb function is broken. Yeah, it is a bit fiddly, isn't it? They also start putting in so many turrets and hazards that it can just feel unfair, especially since the most annoying turrets just put up invincible shields, so you can't even get rid of them. And they're really stingy with their checkpoints. After playing through the same section of a level over and over and experiencing cheap death after cheap death, I just wasn't having fun anymore. But that's the challenge, Hex. It's all about memorising and perfecting a course to try and post better and better times. Well, I love challenge, Darren, but not to the point where it's so frustrating that I'm yelling at the screen because it feels unfair. Hmm. I like how open the levels are, though. Mm -hmm. There's usually multiple paths and shortcuts you can take, so if you've been struggling with one approach, there's often another way around. You're even free to simply ignore the level completely since the campaign map actually splits into multiple paths, each leading to its own ending. It's quite a pretty game, isn't it? Oh, for sure. I love the art style, particularly with that cel-shaded cartoony look. It's bright and colourful and really pops off the screen. And I thought that thumping soundtrack really suited the game too. But pretty looks can only get you so far, and the idea of trying to chase better times in these levels really doesn't appeal to me, so I'm giving this 6 out of 10. It is a fast-paced game and pretty unforgiving at times, but I think if you can master the levels and really get past those fiddly controls, it's quite a thrill, so I'm going to give it 7.5.